my homily for the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time, the 28th of January 2024. What was Jesus really like? That is a key question for us as Christians, because we follow not an ideology, not a philosophy, not a set of rules and regulations, but a person, Jesus Christ. And so we're called Christians. I think that from the Gospels we can get a good idea of what Jesus is really like. The four Gospels are the most important part of the Bible. That's why we stand at Mass for the reading of the Gospel. It's telling us something that is really important. It's telling us about Jesus. You can only develop a relationship with someone that you know. Getting to know them is vital in developing and growing that relationship. And so the Gospels are very important in helping us develop a relationship with Jesus. In our Gospel today, it says that Jesus taught with authority and that his teaching made a deep impression on them. With Jesus, it was not just what he said, but the way he said it. He spoke with conviction. He knew he meant what he said. He didn't speak to curry favour, flatter or impress. He simply spoke the truth without fear or favour. There are many people today who have power. They control forces that can compel you to do things, but they don't have authority. Authority engenders respect, and a desire to listen and freely follow. Power engenders fear and is about control. Jesus specifically rejected the power approach. He rejected power. He emptied himself, as St Paul says. His authority did give him a certain power, the power to heal. He could cast out an unclean spirit. He could open the eyes of the blind and make the lame walk. He could raise the dead to life. However, in one situation, he could work no miracles there because of their lack of faith. His power to heal depended on our faith. And he was deliberately powerless when they came to arrest him, when they beat him, when they crucified him. He's teaching us that what really counts is authority, not power. For 2,000 years later, he is remembered and revered, whereas those who wielded power over him are remembered only because of him. I have a certain authority as a priest, but it doesn't come from me. It comes from the church and from Christ. Several times in my priesthood, I've been asked to go and bless a house where strange things have been happening. I remember a door opening by itself in one house. And in another, I was shown a film of strange spheres floating around. I presume all the blessings I've given have worked as I have heard no more from any of those people. Jesus has used me, frail and weak as I am, to drive away something bad. I find that very humbling. What we need then is not power that we're often seeking for, but authority. What we need is to be more like Jesus.